What is going on, you stallions and stallionettes? AK40 Kevin here in the gamer heaven. So the day has come. AI is taking over. Robots are running the earth. The first thing that pops into my mind, how long before people start shoving their appendages inside the open mechanical orifices of these sweet, sweet tender robots? Let's get it. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. I don't know if I should. I don't know if you guys are ready for this kind of uh kind of cornea busting, neuron popping experience here. But Sophia the robot. Now, of course, this is in Hong Kong. They're so progressive there. They've been working on robots for the longest time. I remember Sony had a robot like 15 years ago, uh, back when I was in my 40s. And this thing, you know, it didn't look like this right here, like an actual humanoid real person they use real skin they go to the morgue they get the freshest skin from the freshest cadavers and they uh wrap the skeletal the exoskeleton if you guys have seen terminator this is basically a t2 model right here so pretty sweet she's just out there looking for sarah connor no big deal but yeah honda was working on a robot it was just like a big trash can with arms and <laughs> with arms and legs kind of reminded me of my first girlfriend it was just like a trash can with arms and legs but it would walk around and it would say occasional phrases and stuff like that uh the combinations of words didn't mean a whole heck of a lot talking about my ex-girlfriend not the robot here but um it it, it was a it was a robot uh but this is way different i'm gonna just play this video here and we're gonna experience this together i, I watched like the first three seconds of the clip and i was like no 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 i need to experience this with my viewers so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and pop on the cans here boys and girls, the the, the 0.02% of my viewership that is females. Hope you could tell I am a Can we full screen this thing? No, it's in like 480i. Never mind. Robot by the wires coming out of my body. In Talking about things going out of her body. Again, my question is when are human things going to go into the body? 2016, Sophia the robot was unveiled and went viral. Now the company behind her has a new vision to mass produce thousands of robots by the end of 2021. Mass produce, boys. Mass produce. This is literally... With, how many movies have we seen? Terminator, iRobot, that kind of starts sort of like this. Not to mention, this is actually legit kind of scary. How realistic this humanoid thing looks and acts. I am an artificial intelligence. You might like to become an artificial intelligence. Hong Kong-based Hanson Robotics says four models, including Sophia, will start rolling out of factories by the first half of 2021. The company's founder and CEO, David Sick Hanson, bastard. We are just now mass producing Sophia. This is Sophia number 24, and many of my previous robots uh, were hand-built. However, Hand-built, and I really test them extraneously at my house, if you know what I mean. I tested them for durability. No, we have... Begun made sure they wouldn't short circuit under pressure make hundreds and into thousands of units of Sophia and use this also as the foundation for many other kinds of characters how did you feel when um when i finger popped you promote human to machine empathy and compassion she's a okay <laughs> all right all right she looks like a lump of melted play-doh she looks like mashed potatoes dripping off the side of the plate on late night shows <laughs> that's gonna be my face when i hit that 5,000 subscriber mark in about uh sometime this sometime this evening ho hopefully overnight i wake up to that and it's gonna be my face <laughs> fashion magazines sophia was even given legal citizenship in saudi arabia and a point see they got her winking and given like a little provocative face like hey big boy how about you break out the wd-40 and uh lube oil and we get to a little a little flesh to metal connection the UN's first start making sparks innovation champion her new role is in the healthcare sector taking temperatures with a thermal camera on her chest that's insane when she gets like sad or emotional you can see like her eye twitching like she's about to start crying like i, I do they do they plug in a freaking uh, a liquid reservoir up to the tear duct so she actually produces tears or other bodily fluids for that matter since we're on the topic of fudging droids or leading morning exercise with the elderly social robots like me can help take care of the sick or elderly in many kinds of health care and medical uses i can help communicate so <laughs> <laughs> so they're talking about having these kind of replace hospice care workers and stuff like that in re like retirement homes and stuff like that, which is great in concept. But 
You don't think this walking around is gonna scare the sh scare the shit out of some old people and literally cause them to peel over dead from a heart attack? Like, do you know how terrified old people are, elderly people are of technology? You even show a smartphone to your great grandmother and she's gonna be like, get that devil brick away from me. So having this stroll into a room, time to take your medication, Laura. You know, <laughs> flinging fucking, flinging sciatica medication at her and stuff. That's not, I don't think they're ready for that yet. I'm not ready for it. And I'm only in my 50s. See, they keep talking about the stimulation that she can provide. Again, when I read this article, I, I was thinking to myself, these robots, whether it's the intention of the manufacturer or not, are going to be used shortly after production for sexual intercourse. People are going to try to fuck these things. People will fuck a grapefruit, a watermelon, a cantaloupe. It has been done. Uh, a cheese grater, anything that you can lube up and and go to go to Pound Town with, buy buy yourself a one way ticket to Pound Town. Um, people will attempt it, and the fact that these look so humanoid and whatnot. I mean, there's like three thousand dollars silicone dolls that you can position that people are buying and marrying. You've probably seen articles and stuff about people marrying and like thinking that this is their life partner, a lifeless silicone doll. So imagine an AI partner that can actually like people will be marrying these things and having intercourse with them and having little having little roblots even in difficult situations researchers predict the fallout from global lockdowns will open new opportunities ah, for teaching industry. her how to give a dutch rudder nice the human form and figure and in look at her watch um, watching him talk right now and it's like she's like a real person she's standing there listening to him like understanding, nodding a lot. It's it's weird. It's, this is and some weird stuff. Then that can be so useful during these t times where people are terribly lonely and socially isolated, and people need to be isolated from each other, um, uh, because to be around people is dangerous these days. I think being around human beings has been dangerous since the beginning of time since the caveman era when you step out of your hut and you don't know if it's a dinosaur or if it's chuck from two ca caverns over that's going to catch you with a pitchfork you don't know but these robots can keep people safe from danger while still providing that kind of human warmth that human connection as a telepresence human warmth and also human connection autonomous uh, extension but also they're talking about protection now so these things could also be like bodyguards for you can you imagine that walking into walmart or something like that somebody tries to get buck with you over the last ps5 on the shelf or something like that and you're like t36 handle this handle my lightweight over here and they walk up it's time for you to get fucked and they just boom hadouken just uppercut him with a with a steel fist give him the old steel fist and then you take her home and give her the old steel fist with human expertise Hansen Robotics is launching a new robot this year called Grace, developed specifically for healthcare. Other big players in the industry are also taking note. SoftBank Robotics' Pepper robot was deployed to detect people who weren't wearing masks. In China, robotics company Cloud Minds helped set up this a is insane. field hospital in Wuhan. Worldwide. Wuhan, that's like the epi the the uh, epicenter of where the virus like exploded from. Sales of professional service robots had already jumped. Was that a robot baby? To 12.2 billion dollars between 2018 and 2019, according to the International Federation of Robotics. Uh, my forecast for 2021 would be selling into thousands of robots, both large and small, uh, and helping people in education uh, and healthcare. Uh, and um, really, uh, hopefully, touching the hearts of people. Oh, they're going to be getting touched, inspire all right. Inspire them for a future where machines might uh, become our friends our and lovers. Friends. They might become alive. And I think that that relationship becomes really important. 2020 relationship. I think is the beginning of a very positive future. High five. <laughs> that was the most awkward high five ever. She's like, eh, eh. In the world by teaching people about new technologies, I am hoping that through my work, Kindness and tolerance will win out over ignorance and impatience. So I don't think they've fully mastered the... Where's my full screen? I don't think they've fully mastered the... Um, the facial emotions yet, because when she was just talking normally, like she should have been in a neutral state like I am right now, she was like... Uh, kind of like Ethan from H3H3, where he's like... 
constantly like does this weird like surprise thing in all of his interviews like he'll ask like a provocative question to Dr. Disrespect or something and be like so what do you think about the uh, rumors that uh, your wife got butt fucked uh, by uh, uh, you know <laughs> like he does this like weird so like that's kind of uh, that's kind of <laughs> what I see from her is she's just having a typical conversation she's like do you want to get breakfast this morning would you like ham with your eggs it's kind of kind of weird um, so they need to they need to dial that back a little bit, do a little bit of fine tuning and tweaking. But honestly, that is some insane stuff. The amount of progression we've had in technology in the last eight to 10, 10 years, especially when it comes to cybernetics and AI or artificial intelligence is pretty overwhelming. And to see them talk about uh, to see them run a demo like that, which is insane. I didn't when I watched this video, I wasn't really expecting to see anything that progressive and, 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 and progressive and impressive. Um, but also the fact that they're talking about doing this in mass production, having t tons of, you know, hundreds or even thousands of these units walking around to help with he health care, being protectors for humans, being friends, being lovers, maybe like it. This is insane. This is. It's craziness. So drop in the comment section below what you guys think the uses are going to be for these robots. I automatically when I saw this and I was seeing it's, you know, a realistic female robot, I'm like. They're going to have sex with these. Somebody's going to have sex with these or they're going to try. Um, that, I, I'm, that's, that was seriously like my first thought. Um, I know it's weird. I've got an interesting brain. I've never once denied it. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thumbs for likes, subs for loves, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.